Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots cleans their pedal to destroy the evil forces of the Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special figure showcase, we're going to be looking at the new Transformers Earthrise Quintesson Judge. So, what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second and have a look at every single thing that comes inside the packaging. We'll have a look at him in both modes to see which way he displays best. And of course, as we're doing right now, we're going to have a look at some of the amazing artwork that is on the original box. So, this was from the second part of the War for Cybertron trilogy. This was known as Earthrise. That is the amazing artwork you've got there from that. And of course, this is all coinciding with that cartoon that is on Netflix. And there you go, just for confirmation, Earthrise. And there, of course, is the War for Cybertron. And there again is some brilliant artwork of the Quintesson Judge. Um, I'm slightly gutted in a way that this isn't the pit of judgment. Um, missed out on that completely, but this is still a great make do. And anybody who saw my toy hunt video will notice that I got this for a really good price at Smith's. So it's going to take 16 steps to transform it. And let's get it out of the box then. Let's just see where we need to open it. It's looking like there. I try in honesty to obviously only open it ever so carefully in the areas that we need to so that's just took all the sellotape bits off there i believe and yep nice and careful here we go so some of these and these have tricked me before uh, but again i like to do it live just to see if, if it's on there so i apologize if there's going to be nothing on here it doesn't look like there's anything there already but what you do get is you get this decoder on the side and what we're going to do, we're going to take it off and then we're going to have a look and see if there is any message or anything written inside there. But I'm pretty much gathering that there's not. But let's have a look together. So, oh, yeah, Quintessa. Can you read that there? It just says through there. And of course, that's very topical because that's exactly what we've pretty much got here. So I'm liking that there. Let's have a look at the rest of the box then. So we've just got the instructions, the usual safety bump. And of course, there is the actual figures. So what I'm going to do now, because it's really noisy, just to keep going for the video day, and I'm just going to cut him free from there and I'm going to come straight back to you. OK, then. So we're back. And as you can see, I've got all of the pieces out of the box. And this might make you laugh. But in honesty, um, I've had a go at attaching these. Uh, basically, um, it shows you how to do it in the instructions. You can see it says there that you just fold the top bits up. I'm going to show you right now and clip and attach it. And I'm not kidding or joking here in any way. I might even save you the outtake video and put it in. I've spent ages. I managed to get the one in. What you're supposed to do is fold this up like so and then attach this with the clip under there and the hole there. You can see, you can see where it's going to line up. But I'm really, really struggling, like really struggling. Um, what I want to show you, though, quickly, I'll come back to it. Fingers crossed I can get it in before the end of the review. Um, so this was everything that came with it, the little blaster, the chair and, of course, the extra heads. So I'm going to pop this in. I'm going to continue with the review and look at it anyway. And then again, we can always come back and have a look at it in a second. So what we've also got here then, in fact, I'll show you once I've connected it. You can probably just to make out there. Yep, there you go. There's two holes. And on this chair, you've got two dowels either side. Now, the flat side is where we're going to put it at first. And then you've got, see the teeny little hole in that? And then that means you can attach one of these tentacles with this little peg or dowel coming off the side there. You can attach it to the chair as well. You can also attach the gun. And I'll show you that in a second. But first and foremost, I'm going to put that there. That looks a little bit squiff, doesn't it? It's probably the carpet. So there's a hole here either side. And you can then, as I say, attach this in. It's probably going to be really awkward because the tentacles here are. Um, yeah, they've got quite a bit of play in them, to be fair, that, which I suppose they need to. I'm going to see if I can attach this in. I'm not having much joy with this set today. That's just about balanced there. And then you've got this lever here which will spin, of course, the heads around like so. And as you can see, that one is missing, but I will have a go at correcting that 
in a second before this video is out. If anybody would like to leave me a comment, obviously either laughing or pointing out what I'm doing wrong, I'll accept it. I'll take it. I'd love to know because I just want to get the video done and I've spent ages trying to get it done. So this is the one particular mode. What I'm going to do right now then is I'm going to very quickly just put him into his other mode and come straight back to you. OK, then, so we're back and it's pretty much in its other mode. I haven't fully transformed it. I am actually going to show you a few of the things on here. And again, unfortunately, I still haven't managed to get that other head in the back. I'm going to I think I'm going to have to Google it and I hate doing things like that. But what we've done is we've folded down all the sides. And then what we've got, obviously, this is attached. It's just like a normal ramp. We've folded up all the heads. We took the base that attached off the chair um off the actual bottom and then the two holes that were on the bottom there can now go into the two holes that were on the top there you go of the whole head this will now hold into place there he says just missed them let's line them up and then that will rest even though there's a head missing into position like so and then what we've also got is of course this is what was attached underneath it and there is your cage so there is, of course, your Quintesson Judge. Um, I don't even think there's any characters in honesty small enough to go in that particular cage at the moment. Um, even the Legends class won't fit in there. So let's just spin it around for you just to give you an idea. It's it's not the greatest alt mode, let's be honest. It, it doesn't really look that good. I 100% will be displaying it in that particular mode. But I suppose they've just done it mainly for exactly that reason you know to give it the fact that it is a transformer and you can transform it it's super basic um and in all honesty it doesn't really serve any purpose because the dimensions for it are all as i say just too small um i haven't really got anything at hand i've got a swindle figure which funny enough is the smallest transformer one of the smallest and he's not going to even fit in there he clearly obviously can't go in and out of there and if i just reach up i can actually grab one of the little cassettes even they don't fit inside they just no maybe fit in there so again maybe it's a nice little play set but it's a play set for something that i don't understand it's got no actual real use um it is ju purely just i suppose for us adult collectors to use as a display so again that's my honest opinion that's why i wanted to show you it um and yeah share it with you so what i'm going to do now final time come back with you in the other mode and fingers crossed i'm gonna have that head on <laughs> let's have a look see if i can do it coming right back to you okay then guys this is literally absolutely crazy but again i wanted to share it with you so i've typed it into google and a whole host of things came up so this is a very very common problem and um some people must be getting lucky with just how they tab it in and some people are literally shaving the part down but again this is what about this channel i want to educate people and help people and um what the best bet and what i'm going to try and do and it always seems to be this head it seems to be a common problem it's the rage head or the wrath head whatever you want to call it um, and everybody's sort of suggesting as you can see i've took this particular screw out so i could now move this whole lip part uh back a bit to get it in so i'm hoping it's going to work um again i just wanted to share it, share it with you because it seems so common i didn't even get to type the full sentence in it came up um because what we're trying to do is get this little tab there and that cutout section to line up with this so the little tabs are going to go under the cutout sections there and then the rest of it will all tab in place but i didn't even write the full sentence out into google and it found it so this is a, obviously a very common problem and i've took the screw out and i'm going to try and attempt it to attach it now and i'll come back to you in a second okay then we have success and again i'm being super honest with you guys i had to use both methods i literally have undone the screw which i'm now going to retighten back up but i had to and there's still residue there on the end of the stanley knife i did have to file the tab down it was so so difficult to get that in um so yeah that's literally what i had to do so i'll stay chatting to with you guys quickly just while i reattach everything so the little screw is going to go back into there um and i'm i say i'm no handyman i'm not i'm not a particular obviously good handyman um but i managed to do it relatively easy i just took the screw out the back of there wedged the tab forward i still couldn't get it to locate into position so i then had to um 
just literally just shave a teeny teeny bit off and boom now we've got the full quintesson judge there and this is going to look much much better when i spin it around so let's build it back up there's the chair we're going to attach the tab through the dowel and then the one bit that i've deliberately not put the top on for us because i wanted to show you is that you can open the cage even though you can't put people in it because it's too small i've put the gun in there i'm now going to attach through the two holes that back into position and slot that into place and believe you me wholeheartedly it is staying 100 percent in this particular mode because i don't think the other modes at you know any purpose it doesn't really suit any purpose you can't really do anything with it this is a much better mode it does look much better and there you go i'm laughing because what a palaver um hope you found it interesting um this could also be one of the main reasons why the the figures are quite hard to get hold of i put a picture of this up on my instagram and lots of people especially canadians as well so brian if you're watching this from tf fan page um who wanted one as well this could be the reason shout out to him he's got a great channel by the way this could be the reason maybe they've recalled him i don't really know but it does seem to be a very common problem and there you go hope it helped you with your decision on whether you wanted to get one um yeah leave your comments let me know if you found it easier than i did and of course guys please take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe